Okay, greetings students. This is our class number four for Pilates one. And we are gonna need a few things. So I'm gonna let you know in advance so you can grab these things before you start. So you can pause me after I explain. Uh, we're gonna use our usual props of your head support, um, your a second little hand towel folded lengthwise like so that we'll use in place of a stick. And um, also your little small rolled towel for your spacer between your legs. And uh, something to use for hand weights. It can be either um, water bottles or canned food or we've gone over that, so get that. And then we're going to use a new one today. This is going to be in place of the medium-ish size ball, small ball actually that I usually use in my classes at the college and we didn't get a chance to use it in other ways uh, when we went online and so I'm going to be doing some stuff with this but I assume you do not have a ball like this so instead what you can do is take a bath sized towel not the hand towel but the longer bigger bath sized towel and get the thickest one you have in your house <laughs> And you're gonna do the same kind of thing you did with the small one. You're gonna fold it lengthwise, to about twice probably, and then roll it. Um, so this is my bath size towel rolled up. That makes it a little bit bigger, well quite a bit bigger than the you know smaller one that we use between the legs. We're gonna use this in place of the ball for some ball work today. Now I've rubber banded mine to keep it from unfolding, but you could use ribbon, elastic, or a little piece of rope or something that you can tie on each end. You don't want it to be bulk, uh, to the, it be something thick that's gonna hurt, feel uncomfortable though. Um, if you don't have any of those things, you can just roll it tight, like this tight and then you might have to just re pause and refold it occasionally if it starts to unroll. Roll. So have that ready to go. We also are gonna use our hand weights again, so get whatever you need for that. And then we're gonna get started. So pause if you need to. And now here we go with a seated warm-up. So go ahead and sit with your legs crossed in front. And if you need those sitting pads, remember to get those also in advance. So let's go ahead and get on top of those sitting bones, legs crossed, and lift nice and tall. I want you to place your hands on your side rib cage area with the fingers coming around a little to the front. So I'm just putting them right here so that we can really feel our ribs right there. And when we breathe, we're gonna breathe into the ribs as opposed to into the belly. So you're gonna brace your low abdominals, get your neutral elongated spine, so you're lengthening in both directions, lifting the side waist, bracing the low abdominals and lifting the back pant waist. With your hands on those ribs, just resting there, you're gonna breathe into your hands. So think of your ribs expanding a little bit side and forward and even backward maybe, your back ribs go all the way around to the back and attach at your spine. So you're gonna inhale, expand the ribs, inhale through the nose and exhale through the mouth and the ribs soften. You can see my hands moving a little bit. So you inhale and you exhale. Now as you keep doing this, think of not lifting those shoulders. So a lot of times we go into the upper shoulder area to breathe and we don't wanna do that. So when you breathe, keep the shoulders down. Inhale and exhale. Keeping abdominals braced, keeping the length. Inhale into the hands and exhale. So I'd like that to be your focus today. I'd also like you to focus on uh, that handout I uploaded for you on the principles of Pilates. Just pick one principle to incorporate into everything you do today. Perhaps it will be the principle of fluid movement. Everything very fluid, no jerky or sharp or fast movements. Perhaps it will be control. That's a really good principle to focus on throughout. Everything done with awareness and control. Uh, perhaps it's gonna be precision. That's paying attention to details how you set up, how you initiate, how you're being aware of every part of your body in every exercise and every repetition. Or perhaps it's uh, centering. And that would be really thinking of first stabilizing mostly in your center body, your torso, powerhouse, we, Pilates called it, Joe Pilates called it the powerhouse here. And um, 
maybe focusing on that as your alignment first, stabilizing where you need to stabilize before you move in the extremities or even in the spine. You want to always first figure out where am I stabilizing, where am I moving, how am I initiating it. So working from the center out. And um, then of course the breath, which we're, we talked about the breathing and you want to incorporate that. So pick one of those to make your main focus today. All right, so we've done a little breathing, but now let's do that same rib cage breathing as we reach out and up. Inhale, out and down, exhale. Inhale, long edges of the arms, exhale. And one more, lift and stay, reach from your side body, and one, two, just warming up, getting that circulation going a little bit. Four more, four, three, two, one, press. Now shoulders circle forward, up, back, and down. Four, and three, and two, and one. Arms in front. Now we're going to do seated roll down or seated spine stretch prep. So you're going to lift against your imaginary wall. Inhale, nod up and over, curve, but don't move your pelvis. Fingertips will find the floor and reach out to stretch, but don't let that body rock forward. Keep your pelvis anchored in its neutral. Then scoop the belly to roll back up, stacking up nice and tall. One more time forward, inhale, nod like a candy cane hook and roll forward as you reach out, but keep the belly pulling backward. Inhale, scoop abdominals and roll up to sit tall in your neutral. And make sure you're widening that collarbone across the chest each time. Now angle to the right diagonal, look there. Always head goes with your spine in most cases, yes? Inhale, tall, nod up and over to that diagonal, but keep that opposite sit bone anchored. Inhale, roll it back up, exhale. Other side, inhale, nod up and over, curve. Like you're coming over a little ball right in here. You're coming over that ball and then roll up, keeping those shoulders down. Now bring your soles together a little further out. Grab your shins, sit tall, using your arms to help you. Make sure you're forward on your sit pad so you don't fall off to the back. And we'll do our C curve. Inhale, hollow the front body as you curve your spine backward. Check no hunching in the shoulders and then just round forward into that spine stretch position. Lengthen from the tailbone to the top of the head on a high diagonal. Check your shoulders and bring it center. Let's do that again. Inhale tall, I've got my feet a little far out so I don't jam up here. And scoop and hollow the body backward. You've got that nice little combing of your abdominals in and up under the ribs. And then round forward. Lengthen high diagonal. Check your shoulders and bring it center. One more time, scoop and C curve. Round forward. Lengthen flat back. And center, cross the legs again for lateral stretch, arm side, lift tall, grow out of your spine, and lift up, inhale, arc it over, exhale, feel, oh, that feels so nice. Inhale, up to center first, and open. We go vertical first, so you have this real link through the side body, then lift out of your waist to arc over, but check, you don't hunch that bottom shoulder or the top shoulder. Reach from the side waist, but never tipping the pelvis and then lift from your bottom waist. Always initiating from those obliques. Inhale, up and out, head goes with you, never leave it behind, and never let it go too far down like this or look down. We're just keeping it right in line with our spine and lift to center. Inhale, vertical, up and out, reach through that side body. Feel that long line toward the wall opposite you and lift to center, good job. Okay, now let's take this uh, folded short towel your little hand towel and again I folded it lengthwise and then again so we have it a little bit more co compact grab the ends and you're gonna have the towel taut so it's not limp it's taut then hold it across from the base of the breastbone the solar plexus get on those sit bones and lengthen up through the side body and shoulders wide and down now ribcage arms inhale up keep a little tautness on your towel and exhale to across from the solar plexus. Inhale up, checking we don't hunch, 
and forward, keeping the edges of the arms nice and elongated. Inhale and exhale, adding on. Inhale, bend to that top of the back of the head for that little goal post position. Pause. Hands just slightly behind elbows, but careful, don't pop those front ribs. And then keep those shoulders gliding down as you reach through the edges of the arms upward. Feel your shoulder blades down your back ribs and forward to hover. Oh yeah, felt good. Inhale, bend, exhale. Reach, sliding those shoulders down and forward. One more. Inhale and exhale and reach, stay, gliding those shoulders down. Now a tiny side dip, very high diagonal, and center, no rocking the pelvis. Make sure both sit bones stay anchored. Inhale, lift from that bottom waist, and inhale, high diagonal, no tipping the pelvis, and exhale, lift up and out. Inhale, and exhale, tiny press back, one, but keep those shoulders down, two, three more. Three, four, one more, five, and all the way down. Place that towel down for a moment. And now um, circle those shoulders again a couple more times. Release that and then cross hand over elbow, hand to elbow, hand to elbow. Arms just a little below shoulders, but never rest on the belly. Just keep it a little out for your side twist. We prep. We inhale tall from above the waist up. Nothing moves below the waist. Rotate and grow taller. Inhale to the right and center. Exhale. Other side. Inhale, growing taller. And exhale. Like you're spiraling upward as you rotate. Inhale. Keeping on your sit bones equally. And inhale. Navel pressing in and up. Exhale. One more each side. Inhale. Make sure your head goes with you. Exhale. You don't have to look at the video the whole time. Listen to my words. Inhale twist and center exhale you don't want to leave your head behind right all right relax that and come off your sitting pads and move them to the side we're going to do a little seated before we lay down so um have your little get your little smaller rolled towel sit facing in toward the center room put that little spacer between your uh, inner legs just above the knee and then move the feet out pretty far so that you're not slumped back. Then grab behind your high back ribs. Use those arms to help you get into your neutral. So you wanna lift that back pant waist. You're up against your imaginary wall, ear over shoulder, shoulder over center pelvis, or right over your hips. And now we're gonna do a C curve into half rollback. Inhale, hollow, squeeze your towel a little bit into your C curve. So you're scooping out that front body again. And then go a few more inches if you can to your half roll back, but don't go so far that you lose control. You don't want your feet popping up. You don't want to flatten your back. You want to keep that deep curve. Then round over into spine stretch position and lengthen through that flat back that we did earlier and center. So we're putting those together a little bit. So we scoop and C curve. Squeeze your little towel a little bit. Then keep the belly pulling back as you curve forward lengthen out to the flat back and center. One more time, scoop, it's like a little wave. Hollow out to that little scooped out rowboat and curve forward as your belly pulls back. Get over sitting bones, then lengthen flat back and center. Good job. Keep your towel between your legs, no head support yet, have it to the side, and then roll on over onto your back. Let's get into our neutral lying down and your feet are just a couple of inches apart right under your knees. You, you wanna establish that neutral pelvis. I wanna put the heels of my hands on my front pelvic bones, fingertips aimed toward the pubic bone. So I've made a little triangle with my hands and then relax your elbows. Now check, is your, are your fingers and heel of your hands pretty much in the same plane or are you tucked with your fingers above the heels of the hands? So you want the, a little more level the pubic bone, hip bones in the same plane. Then feel the abdominals, just seat belt across, saran wrap across, that tight skin of a drum, right? So it's nice and braced here. It's not about contracting and bulging, it's just that feeling of bracing, right? Now, check you have that itty, itty, bitty uh, little lift under your waist, just your natural curve, but we're not trying to force a curve, it's just there. Your ribs are just hanging into the mat. 
making sure you don't let them, you know, pop up, but that they're just relaxed into the mat here. So the only place where you have a lift is under the waist and under the back neck. And then your tailbone just thinks of lengthening in the direction of your feet. You don't want to push the tailbone to the mat. You just want it lengthening in the direction of your feet. All right, nothing under the head yet. We're gonna do some pelvic tilts. Inhale, prepare. Hollow the low belly to curl. Flatten the waist, but don't grip those glutes too much yet, right? They're just lightly, lightly turned on. We're not squeezing them, right? And then you roll the tailbone away from your waist and you're lengthening, the, um, you roll your pubic bone away from your waist and you roll your tailbone away from your waist as well. So front and back levels back out. Inhale, pelvic curl, exhale, and roll it to neutral. Inhale, exhale, curl, really flattening across and roll it down. Let's bridge. Inhale, pelvic curl, start the same, and then roll the pelvis up to your straight line bridge. So you wanna feel this back to front, front to back, sandwiching of your pelvis, uh, muscles pressing toward each other, front and back, like you had one of those little uh, cheese press things uh, for sandwiches. Those, uh, you know, it has a front and a back to heat it up. What's that called? Anyway, you are you have that front to back, back to front, and then you're saying, Carol, hurry up. I'm just hanging out up there. Roll down, <laughs> bone by bone. Feel your waist make contact and unravel down. Inhale, pelvic curl hollow and squir squir uh, roll your pelvis up in that straight line. Never go too high and pop your ribs up and go real high on your neck. It's just that straight line there. And then sink the upper chest and roll down through the low, every bone of that spine. You want to make contact one at a time if you can. So I like to think sometimes of like a chain. And I'm rolling the chain down one link at a time. You know, each chain has little links. Or a bicycle chain has those little cogs or links. And I want to put each link down one at a time. I don't want to just lay the whole thing down. All right? So concentrate on that articulation. Inhale, pelvic curl. Roll one bone at a time off the mat to your bridge. Pause, inhale. Heavy chest, like a sandbag on your chest to start the roll down. And feel each little link of your chain rolling into the mat, especially the back waist and then roll the tailbone down. Let's do one more like that. Inhale, curl and roll up. Inhale at the top, sink the chest, roll down bone by bone, and now return to neutral. Grab that little folded link, uh, short towel that we used a minute ago, and we're gonna do our rib cage arms lying down, but we're gonna combine it with our bridge. So make your uh, towel taut, take it over the solar plexus. Now check your wrist, make sure you're not breaking in the wrist like this. Oops, not good, so we want it straight on. Then keep the towel taut right there as you bridge. Inhale, pelvic curl, roll up to the bridge and stay. Reach back to rib cage arms hovering above the floor. Don't touch the floor, just hover there. Feel that shoulder blade area still gliding away from your ears. Then sink the chest as you keep reaching back, nice straight arms, and roll bone by bone. And you might feel like you're being tractioned into the mat. And then once you get your tailbone down, bring the arms back up over solar plexus. Let's do that again. Keep the arms right here as you curl. Roll up to your straight line bridge. Pause at the top, reach back to rib cage arms. Inhale, sink the upper chest. Roll down bone by bone. Unravel to neutral and bring the arms back up. All right, now we're gonna keep the tailbone down, keep everything neutral and just reach the arms back, inhale. And as they go up, nod the chin and then take the towel forward as you ab curl. Sink the breastbone, curl the chest forward, reach the towel towards your top knees. So we're in our basic ab curl, no tuck in the pelvis. Hold, inhale, lower the chest, exhale. One more time, reach back to hover, check your back ribs are down, inhale, arms up, nod the chin, sink the breastbone and slide the breastbone away from the chin as you curl the chest forward, reaching the arms to the top knees, hold, inhale, lower chest, exhale, and then release that towel. All right, now remove your spacer between your legs, and we're going to roll to your side, come to sit. 
We're going into a section where we're going to use this little, this uh, bigger folded towel I told you to get that it uh, will be in place of a ball. And so you're going to take this, turning it this direction, not this direction behind you. So in other words, I'm not putting it lengthwise, so to speak. I'm turning it this way because with a towel, it's not round, unfortunately. And then you're going to place it so that when you lay down, it's right at approximately between the lower end of your scapula or shoulder blades. So think of those shoulder blades and then the, the towel is right at the bottom of the tips of the shoulder blades, but not down onto your low ribs all the way. It's in the upper mid back. So you can see here, I think a little bit. Now I'm in a slant. So that means that I have a space here. I'm new, I am not trying to tuck my pelvis and smash my back down. I'm in a slanted neutral spine and pelvis. So once you're there, oops, grab that. Should have told you that first. Grab your little spacer to put between your knees and then feet are just a little in front of your knees and then interlace your hands behind your head. Now we're going to do our ab curl over the ball or towel here. So you're going to arc back. You get to go further back when we have this behind us so that you have a little more range and you go all the way past neutral to an extension of the upper spine. Then you nod the chin first to get the head more in alignment. Then you sink the breastbone to take yourself forward into that sort of slanted position again. It's an ab curl in a slant. And you, only, you don't have to curl and smash your waist down and move your pelvis. No, remember, keep the pelvis in its neutral on a slant. So you do have that little space under here that you're going to maintain as you curl forward in your upper body. All right, so don't tuck the pelvis when you curl forward. All right, arc back again, open your elbows and let your head fall back into your hands if you feel comfortable doing that. Then lengthen the back neck as you nod the chin, slide the breastbone away from the chin to chest lift forward and look at your legs. You should feel some bracing in those low abdominals if you're doing it correctly. And let's do that again. Inhale, arc back. Nod the chin, sink the breastbone. Slide it down as you ab curl to that slanted forward position. Let's do two more. Inhale. And nod, slide the breastbone, curl, exhale, or chest lift. Hold it, feel that contraction, but not tucking. And one more. Inhale. I'm feeling it. I hope you are. Lengthen the back neck. Slide the breastbone just to that slant. Hold. Now staying here, you're going to rotate to your right, just a little diagonal and center. Don't roll off your little towel. Slet just a little pivot to the left and center. Do that again. Pivot to the right and center. Nothing moves below the waist. Pivot to the left and center and arc back. Inhale. Good, and nod, slide the breastbone back to that slant. Hold, feeling those abdominals bracing. Pivot to your left first, exhale, and center, and to the left, right, and center, to the left, or whatever direction you're going is fine. Just do it alternately, and twist, and hold, center, we're feeling it, yes? and lengthen back, that front body is working, and nod and ab curl, now right here. Go ahead and curl your tailbone, reach for it, grab onto your legs. You can either roll up or roll to your side and come up. Good job. Okay, now we're going to take that towel and snug it, still uh, we're in this not the lengthwise, but this direction. Snug it right up against your tailbone and low back area. It's really way down at the tailbone area in a seated neutral. So I've got my legs pretty far out and you can put your little spacer between your knees to keep your legs lined up. And then I'm gonna snug that up while I'm in my seated neutral. So I wanna get on my sit bones. You can use your hands here and then just snug that right up against you real close. Now, once it's there, C-curve your low spine, pelvic area, into the towel and keep that low part in a C-curve. Grab on. Now, you're just going to lean back to a flat, almost straight line, but you're keeping that little C-curve in the low part, all right? 
and then back up a little. And you deepen your low belly and you lean back a little bit and then come up a little bit. It's just a couple of inches is all we're doing. And you lean back, hold. Make sure it's uh, real snugged up in that low part. Now, keep the low part in the C curve here and then reach your arms forward, palms toward each other. Then lean back ever so slightly. Don't arch back, just lean back in a flat back here. Then you'll feel those front body abdominals working. Reach the arms up diagonally as well. Might bring more challenge to it. And then don't let your head go back, but just take your eyes up a little bit where your hands are. And feel maybe some trembling there. Yeah, that's good. Then take your arms forward, look forward, and come up a little bit to release that. Let's do that again. C curve the low spine, then lean back on the diagonal. Reach the arms up diagonally, look diagonally up, Hold, feel that trembling, I hope. It's nice and working there. And then arms forward and lengthen up a little bit. You can grab behind if you need to. Let's do one more. We're going to add on to it. So C curve the low back. Lean back slightly. Arms forward. Now lengthen a little more. Arms up diagonal. Pull the low belly in. Look up slightly. Now pull one elbow down diagonally and look there like a bow and arrow. See if you can get your elbow onto the mat. Hold there, make sure you're not moving the pelvis. Then lift just the elbow. Hold there, bring it back to the other arm, and you can either grab on and come back up a little bit or just come forward. Let's do that other side. You're gonna C curve the low part, lay back on the diagonal. Arms up diagonal, eyes up diagonal. Pull the other elbow back diagonal and look toward that back elbow. So you have that bow and arrow. Then go a little deeper to put that elbow on the mat if you can. Stay there as you just lift the elbow, but don't change the body. You'll feel that work in the obliques and the front belly, the transverse abdominus. And then bring the arm forward and come up a little bit. Yeah, and now round forward and give your back a little stretch. Take a deep breath. Okay. Let's remove um, our little spacer and remove our little ball for, well, actually we're gonna use it one more time. So keep, but bring it in front of you and put your spacer out of the way. No head support yet, but have it next to you and roll back down on your back. And this time we're gonna put our ball slash rolled towel under the pelvic area at the lower part on the sacrum, just barely above the tailbone, but definitely below the waist. Do not put your waist on it. It will be that pelvic area below the waist, but slightly above the tailbone, but near the tailbone. So to do that, I have to push up into a bridge and then pull that towel underneath my pelvis. Then I rest on it, making sure it feels stable so that I feel like I'm not gonna fall off, but I, I feel like, yes, it's not on my waist and it's not in a place that feels uncomfortable, but I feel like I can put my pelvis in a slant of neutral again on this rolled towel or ball. Now, feet are out a little bit and together. Arms alongside on the mat to help you balance. Head in alignment, nothing under the head but your mat. We're gonna do our one leg levitations, maintaining that tight braced abdominal area in the front and making sure you don't wobble on your towel. So you keep it very stable. Stable means no movement. You lift your right leg up slowly to your tabletop, inhale, and back down, exhale. Feels different than when we're laying flat on the mat, yes? Inhale, nothing else moves but the leg, and exhale, adding on. Lift the right leg, inhale, stay, and carefully left leg lifts to join, tabletop with legs together. Now we're gonna do our alternating toe dips. Keep that same amount of right angle in the knees, and you just dip one leg out and down without changing anything else and tighten across that low belly and bring it up to the other one. Connect the legs at the top so they're together and then alternate. Inhale out and down. I'm keeping that right angle in the knee and lift with control. Nothing wobbles if you can help it. Inhale, dip, alternating. And exhale, lift. And inhale, dip. Are we feeling it? Yes, hopefully. Exhale, lift. 
Low abdominals really working. That's your transverse abdominus. That's the deepest layer of your abdominals, way underneath the surface of muscles. And back up with control. Hold it, put one foot all the way down, other foot all the way down. Now grab that towel and just lift enough to push it out from under you and then roll down slowly, bone by bone, and oh, roll to the neutral. And does that feel different? Might feel like your low back opened up, yes? And we're gonna do a few pelvic tilts here. So just rock and hollow and flatten the back waist but don't grip your glutes, and then roll the pelvis in the direction of your feet. Hollow and scoop out the front body as you flatten the back waist, curling the tailbone, and then lengthen the pubic bone away from your waist to get that neutral. One more, scoop and curl, and roll to neutral. Good job. All right, now let's move the roll tail out of the way. You're gonna get your, um, if you need, to, for leg circles later, if you want that longer uh, towel, if you don't have a TheraBand, have that right next to you. Have, uh, we're gonna be using our head support now, so go ahead and slip that to the middle here, and we'll use, uh, have your leg spacer nearby to grab so you don't have to sit back up. Okay, then lay back down. You can use the head support right away here. And we're going into our 100. So we've warmed up those muscles pretty good. So now what we want to focus on is a good positioning throughout the hundred. I'm going to take you all the way through without pausing, but you always have the option to modify and put the head down for a little break and just continue pumping and breathing if you would like and then lift again when you're ready. All right, so let's put that little spacer between the knees and move the feet just a little bit out so you're not jammed up and then find that neutral pelvis so you feel that your pelvis is in a level position those three bony landmarks. You have your itty, itty, bitty space under the waist, but we don't see it because it's very tiny. And then tailbone lengthening toward the feet, but not pushing down. All right, now keeping all that, draw the collarbone wide. Bring your arms strong on the mat alongside you. So I already have active arms. I'm not just kind of hanging out relaxed. I'm reaching already before I lift the arms. All right, now we're ready for ab curl. Inhale, nod the chin, sink the breastbone, and as you curl, reach the arms an inch or two off the mat. Pump. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Careful not to tuck the pelvis. Four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Keep looking towards your legs. Four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, thirty. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, forty. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, fifty. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, sixty. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, seventy. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Keep looking at your legs. Don't drop your head. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, ninety. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, one hundred. Lower everything down. Roll that head side to side. Good. All right, roll to your side, come to sit. Take your spacer out from between your legs and we're gonna sit in the middle of our mat, move your head support away for a minute and open your legs apart the width of your mat and move your feet pretty far out. They're just barely bent knees and I'm going to again have them the width of my mat and I'm gonna grab behind my high back legs here just like we did earlier and you're gonna use your arms to help you get tall against your wall. Now we do our half roll back, but this time I wanna go all the way if I can to my ab curl position. So we hollow from the low tailbone area and the low pubic bone area to C curve the low back. Then we continue rolling toward the mat. The legs can start to straighten. You find your back waist against the mat and you look for it at your feet. Don't look at the ceiling. Now you let that lowest rib go down just that little bit so you're in your ab curl. Deep in your belly, a slight tuck here. This is the only time I'll say that. Slight tuck through this transition. Once you get your ribs off, you're curving, 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 curving until you're over sitting bones, and then you unravel and sit tall into your neutral starting position. Now, if you can't go that far back, that's okay. You go where you can control it. If your feet pop up, you've gone too far. If you flatten your back too soon and start leaning back, ooh, no, we don't want that. That can uh, cause strain. You wanna keep the curve until you're all the way to that ab curl position. 
and I, you can stop when you get to just the waist or even less if you need to. Remember, it's about process, not perfection yet. It's about incremental improvements. So be conscious of where you're at today. Do what is appropriate for you. Here we go. Inhale tall, C curve first. Nod the chin gently. Now, pull the navel toward the back waist, but keep your hands holding on here and glide them up toward your glutes as you roll to the back of the pelvis, and if you can, to the waist and the lowest back rib. My legs kind of straighten out as I go. Now I inhale, deep in the belly as I start bending the knees and curling that tailbone, so a little tuck here. Round forward over your sitting bones, using the arms to help you, and unravel, sit tall. One more, inhale, hollow C curve. Roll back. Feel each bone make contact. Inhale, deepen the belly as you curve forward. And rock onto sit bones, lengthen. And that was our roll up prep, right? So we have to, to kind of work on that gradually. And if, you, that, if you're only able to go, you know, part way, again, no problem. All right, now we're gonna do leg circles. If you have a TheraBand, grab it. If you don't, grab that towel. And we're gonna do eight circles in each direction. So let's roll down. You can use your head support for this one. And into our neutral spine and pelvis. Hook the right foot into the center of the band or towel. And then choke up where it feels comfortable, where, but also where you can hopefully get your elbows down. If you have a towel, they may have to be off if you have a shorter towel. And then find your neutral. Oh, I'm tight today, so I'm going a little forward, and usually I, that's what happens for me too. And that's where I want to be. I don't want to tuck and be up here. If I'm in a tuck, it's not going to help us. That's not what we're working on. So we want a stable, neutral pelvis. Tailbone lengthening toward the feet. Now, bottom leg is either ideally straight or slightly bent, so it's not in your way. Now, start across the body. Inhale, exhale, one. Pausing at the top each time, two. What's our object here? Don't wobble the pelvis, three. Keeping that neutral, stable pelvis, four. Inhale, exhale, five. Keep your circle fairly small, six. Inhale. Exhale, one full breath on each circle, last one this direction, and pause at the top. Reverse, out a little, down around, up one. Inhale, exhale, two. Trying not to wobble the pelvis, three. And if you need to bend the knee a little bit, you can do that, and that's okay. If you can straighten it all the way, that would be ideal. Up, inhale, exhale, I think this is about seven and eight. Let's switch sides. If you're using the band, you can just switch out. If you're using the towel, you might have to readjust. Okay, let's find neutral. That's where your leg goes, where you can keep neutral. Bottom leg either straight or slightly bent. Check you're not hunching up in those shoulders. Draw them down, elbows anchored if you can, and tighten your navel to the back waist, but no tuck. All right, start across the body first. Inhale, exhale, one smooth and fluid. So here's that principle of fluidity or fluid movement. Up, inhale, exhale. I think this is four, inhale, exhale, five, inhale, exhale, six, bracing abdominals, seven, last one, and pause at the top. Reverse, out, down, around, up. Smooth like you're drawing a little circle with your heel. Inhale, Exhale, three. Inhale, exhale, four. Inhale, exhale, five. Now, if you wanna go a little slower, that's okay, six. But I remember I said pace will be a little quicker today. And last one. All right, feel that stretch and then release. Remove your band, rub your hands out if you use the band or even the towel sometimes holding that long and you just need to release it a little bit. All right. Now, we're going to roll to your side, come to sit, and go into our rolling like a ball. Now, if you, want, if you like the assist, I like this uh, length towel, and then what you do is uh, put it underneath the back legs, because it doesn't hurt too much to use that towel, and use that towel to pull your legs in, and then I just kind of draw the shoulders down and, and anchor my elbows alongside me here, and then I C curve and find that little place right behind the sit bones to find my little balance. And you can try them here first if you feel like you're ready to just go right into the roll without that and you just want to grab behind either the back legs 
or the front shins is our original, then you can do that right away. I'm gonna do the assisted version first and then I'll take it away. So assisted version, you pull in here using the towel and here we go, lead from your tailbone and deepen your curve to roll back and roll forward to hold in your balance. Remember, don't roll onto the neck or head. That means you have to use that principle of control. Inhale, roll, exhale, then using those abdominals as your focus and articulating from your tailbone to start the, the roll. So I'm initiating from my lowest part of the spine to initiate the roll deepening my abdominals to initiate. It's all about that control and precision. And now if you want, you can try it without that, either again, front shins or behind, and you find that tight ball shape, and here we go. Inhale, exhale, hold. Inhale, exhale, hold. Looking towards your belly. Inhale, exhale, but don't jam the chin. Inhale, exhale. One more. Inhale, exhale, pause, feet down, open the knees, and round over. Take a breath. And roll it up and go to the center of your mat. Um, you can use your head support for this set we're going to do for the abdominals. This is our abdominal block. We'll do the single leg stretch first. Remember, if you need to modify, you can put the head down for a break, or if it's feeling any strain on the back, take your legs higher. All right, we're gonna prep into it, one leg at a time, tabletop, legs together, hands on the knees. Inhale, nod the chin. Ab curl to look forward, check tailbone down. Stretch the left as your hands go to the right knee and shin, and simultaneously switch. Keep your focus towards your feet, switch. You have that one leg perfect tabletop, the other one fully straight on an up diagonal. Don't let it drop too low, we don't wanna arch the back. Reach, keep looking towards your feet, reach, switch, switch, two more, switch, switch, and hug it in as you lower. Roll the head side to side, and we're going into the double leg stretch. Move your legs to the tabletop, hands on top and knees. We're gonna straighten the legs to that little Pilates V as we simultaneously ab curl and reach the arms alongside to the 100 position. We do all three moves in one breath. So we inhale, prepare, nod. Ab curl as you straighten the legs to Pilates V and reach the arms alongside. Stay in your ab curl. Keep your focus towards your lower uh, belly area as your arms go up on a diagonal, back alongside, and bend and lower. Do not let your head go back when the arms go up. Keep your head forward towards your legs. Inhale, prepare. Ab curl as you squeeze the heels and stretch. Hold their arms up, but keep looking down. Inhale, back alongside, exhale. Bend to your starting position, inhale. Ab curl, squeeze the heels together, stretch. Arms up as you keep looking forward. Arms alongside, exhale, and bend and lower. This is a tough one, one more. Exhale, squeeze the heels as you stretch. Arms up in. You can always take those legs higher if you need to. Arms alongside and hug it in as you lower. Roll your head side to side. Good job. And our last one here is our crisscross. Now, you, I'm doing the full crisscross. If you want to modify, you could do that one leg lift as you rotate toward that lifted leg. Try not to wobble or move your pelvic area. But let's all interlace our fingers behind the head. If you're doing the full version, go with me. If not, leave your feet down. One at a time, lift the legs tabletop. Now everybody nod and curl the chest forward. Check tailbone down. Keep your right leg bent as you twist toward it. Exhale, straightening the left. Simultaneously switch, exhale. Switch, exhale. Try not to rock your pelvis as you rotate your upper body. So even though I'm twisting the upper body, my waist down to the tailbone is staying very quiet and stable. No rocking side to side at all. Once more, and then hug it in as you lower. And rock your pelvis a little side to side. Place your feet down one at a time, roll onto your side, and we're ready to go onto our stomach for uh, prone work. And you're gonna face so that you have your towel in front of you, Roll onto your stomach and stretch your legs out. 
So they are together parallel. Untuck any toes so the top foot is down. And cross your hands in front and forehead on your hands. Find your pelvic triangle on the mat neutral. Lift your navel away from the mat and draw your shoulders away from your ears. Think of your kneecaps extending nice and straight to lift your front thighs a little bit. It's very subtle, but they are feeling like they're stretching away from the mat slightly. Now lift the right foot an inch or two. Pulse without moving your pelvis. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Hold one, lower, hover the left. Pulse one, using the back leg. Three, four, tight belly underneath. Six, seven, eight, nine, hold 10. Lower heels together in the Pilates V. Separate the heels into open V, so they're about six inches to eight inches apart. Hovering upper back and legs simultaneously, fully. Uh, but without any arching in the low back. So it's a lengthening in both directions and a slight hover. Here we go. Inhale, hover, forehead on hands. Lower, exhale. So legs and upper back are moving. Pelvis stays planted, neutral. Inhale, hover. Exhale, lower. Two more. Inhale, hover. Exhale, lower, and again, inhale, hover, hold it, arms open to a T-shape, oh yes, hold it, hands to forehead, hold it, smoothly lower down, hands by ribs, use your abdominals to push up and back, rounding the back and sit back to rest position, hold there. Breathe into those ribs we talked about at the beginning, but focus the back ribs. Expand the back ribs as you inhale and exhale. And again, inhale and exhale. Roll up, and now we go into our four-point kneel. So you're going to go to your hands and knees with your knees right under the creases of your hip socket. Bond your shins and top feet to the mat. Hands are shoulder width apart approximately, but right under the shoulder. Not in front of you like this. Nope, it's like a table. The chair, the legs can't be angled out. They gotta be right under the table, okay? And head up in line. So look forward of your hands about two feet. Now lift your breastbone away from the mat. Lengthen your tailbone toward the wall behind you. So I have my neutral spine, not a tuck. All right, now from here, we round the back in a C curve for our cat stretch. Like an angry cat arching its back, scoop. The tailbone curls under, the head draws down. You look at your legs behind you. Then lengthen in both directions from the tailbone to the head. This seems like a simple exercise, but actually it's not. If done correctly, it's very precisely detailed. We scoop from the low belly to initiate. We hollow, pulling the ribs in, round your whole spine from tailbone to head. Then all of that lengthens in both directions to return and find that neutral. And it's important to find the neutral each time. One more, scoop and curl, cat stretch, and lengthen. Keep your neutral flying table. Right arm, left leg, reach out in line with your spine. No wobbles if you can help it for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. No perceptible shifting as you return. Reestablish four point. Left arm, right leg, slide it out in line. Hold, eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, one. No perceptible shifting as you return, reestablish. Tuck the toes under. Four point hover. Knees up one or two inches for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Knees down, untuck toes. Round to cat. Sit back to rest position. 
Deep breaths into the back ribs. Inhale. Exhale. Again, inhale. Exhale. Roll it up. And now we're ready for spine stretch. So we're going to open our legs apart the width of our mat or shoulder width. Flex the feet. If you can sit tall against your imaginary wall with no slump, then your knees can stay straight. If not, bend them ever so slightly. Then lift up out of your waist and arms forward just below shoulder height, palms toward each other and shoulder width apart. Spine stretch, inhale tall, up and over curve like you're coming over a ball in front of you, hollow that front belly. Reach forward, arms parallel to the floor, going forward almost between your feet and then hold and check you're not lifting those sit bones. Inhale, roll up against your wall bone by bone. That means the head will be the last thing back up in center neutral. Inhale, up from the top of the head and curve up and over. Belly pulls back. Inhale, roll up against your wall. Exhale, and sit tall. Inhale, up and over curve. Reach forward. Feel that stretch right here. Inhale. Depending on where you're tight, you might feel it in your back, you might feel it in your back legs, you might feel it both. Inhale, up and over curve, reach, but it's about how you do it that matters. Don't just lay forward, it's an up over scoop curve. And roll it up. Now keep that neutral, bring palms together for the saw. You're going across to the opposite little toe. So my arm that's closest to you goes to the opposite foot. And here we go, look down and back, exhale, and roll up to palms together, inhale, alternate, exhale, not moving your pelvis, inhale, up and over, exhale. So you have a combination of flexing forward but twisting slightly. Do not lift either sit bone, keep them anchored. Exhale, reach, inhale, lift, flexed feet, reach, outside the little toe, and lift, palms together in the center, exhale, reach. Looking down and back to the back arm, exhale, reach. Lift, now let's do our bow and arrow pull as we twist. Right elbow pulls back, twist to the right, exhale. Open the arm, reach a little more, exhale. And thread back through, inhale together. Other side, pull the left elbow, twist to the left. Open as you look back. Thread back through. Don't move anything below the waist. It's all above the waist. Exhale, pull. A little further. Exhale. Inhale together. Exhale, pull. Open. And together. Reach up and interlace behind. We're going to do side dip. Directly side like you're sliding along your wall. Inhale. Don't lift your sit bone. And lift. Exhale. Keep your head in alignment like it's against the wall. Up and over, dip directly side. Don't lift the sit bones though, and lift from your waist. Just above the waist is where we're working, not the hips. And lift, and up and over, and lift. And reach up and over to grab what you can. Take a deep breath here. Inhale, exhale, one more. Inhale, and exhale. Roll it up, shake your legs out, bend your knees, roll back down on your back. No head support for this one. Ready for your shoulder bridge prep. Knees and feet together, arms alongside. Bring your feet a little closer under your knees. Keep your feet and knees together as we bridge. Inhale, pelvic curl, roll up to bridge and stay. Pick up your right leg to perfect tabletop 90-90 and keep that shape in the leg as you tap the toe. Inhale. Lifting smoothly without dropping the pelvis or tipping it. Inhale, dip. Exhale, lift. Inhale, dip. Exhale, stay. Extend the leg. Take it forward diagonally, knees together. Foot next to foot. Sink the upper back and roll through the spine bone by bone. And back to neutral. Good. Other side. Inhale. Pelvic curl. Roll up to straight line bridge, legs together. Take your left leg, lift to perfect tabletop and keep that shape, tap the toe, inhale. Lifting smoothly, exhale, no quick or jerky movements. No dropping that pelvis, inhale. 
Lift smoothly. Exhale. Nothing else moves but the leg. One more. Inhale. Lift and stay. Extend the leg. Take it forward. Knees together. Foot next to foot. Sink the chest. Roll bone by bone. And unravel down. One at a time, lift the legs, grab behind, hug them in. While in hugging, cross the ankles, open the knees diagonally, move that shape to tabletop, arms down for reverse curl, or also calling it the rollover prep. Scoop from your low belly, curling the pelvis towards you to about your waist or slightly above, and then roll down, putting the brakes on with your abdominals so we keep the control, there's your principle, in both directions. Scoop the low belly, curl, inhale, roll down with control, no plopping, and anchor the tailbone one more time. Scoop and curl, and roll it down smoothly. When you get to neutral anchor, interlace your fingers behind your head, stretch the legs upward with heels together, Pilates V. Nod, inhale, ab curl, check tailbone down, if you need to reach the legs a little forward, you can. Flex the feet in the V and then openings. Inhale, open. Inner legs, squeeze those heels together. So a focus upper inner legs. Inhale, upper inner legs initiate to squeeze the heels together. Inhale, open. Exhale, squeeze together. One more. Inhale, open. Exhale, squeeze together. Bend and lower the chest as you hug in. Rock a little side to side. And place the feet down one at a time. All right, good job, roll to your side. All right, now, um, we're going into side line. So get your head support, and we'll stretch out and elongate into a straight line. And bottom arms extended. Now, if, you have, if you're one of those people that have trouble with your ankles together, you can put your little spacer between your ankles for this first set. And head support between the head and arm. Kick stand the hand close to the body. Draw the top shoulder down. Make sure your feet are lined up with the front of the pelvis, not behind you. Ankles together. Now, tighten the front belly and ever so slightly lift under the bottom waist. And now, make sure you're looking forward, not down at your feet or at the mat like this. That torques your head, so get it really straight on. Now keep the ankles together and lift up smoothly. Exhale, hold, and lower. Just tap it down smoothly. Don't collapse. Exhale, lift. You never lose your connections. Exhale, squeeze up. Control it down. Exhale, lift, and lower. Exhale, lift, and one more. Lift and stay. Bottom leg beats and one, two, ten times. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hold ten. Flex both feet while you're lifted. Point both feet. Flex both feet. <laughs> Point both feet and lower down. Then bend your knees to the 90. Top leg straight out. Nice strong line through the leg toward the wall opposite in line with your front pelvic bone. Flex that top foot and side kick. Watch your shoulders here. Watch that you're focusing abdominals. Okay, pendulum forward. Exhale, exhale. Point to reach slightly behind the hip bone, but don't rock back. And repeat. Exhale, exhale. Inhale, reach. Keep it in the same line right here. Don't go up. Exhale, exhale. Reach and stretch. Exhale, exhale. Reach and stretch. Exhale, exhale. Reach and stretch, exhale, exhale. Reach and point when you go back, flex when you go forward, point when you go back last time, exhale, exhale, inhale, reach. Pause and take it straight out, little circle forward for five. No pelvic movement, three, two, one. Reverse and five, four, three, two, one. Hold. Flex the foot, pulse, one, two, three, four, five, hold, bend, knee over knee, press straight out to the wall opposite in line with your hip. Inhale, bend forward, press straight out. Inhale, bend forward, press like you're pushing through mud. Inhale, bend, 
push and stay, point the foot, bend the knee, lower down. Stretch out, roll on your stomach, cross your hands, forehead on your hands, heels together, Pilates V, little beats. So keeping your pelvic triangle planted with your belly lifting away from the mat, draw the shoulders down, heels together in the turned out V, lift both legs an inch or two, open and close, click the heels, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine, ten, rest and push up and back to your rest position. Uh, deep breath here into the back ribs. Inhale and exhale. Okay, we're going into our plank called front support. Move forward on your mat, hands under armpits. Four point kneel position, head up in line looking diagonally forward of your hands. So we first get in good alignment. Now stretch your right leg out, tuck the toes. Keep looking a little forward of your hands. Take the left leg to join for your front support. If this is difficult, put the knees down in partial plank and hold for 10. Nine, keep breathing, tight belly. Seven, six, no sagging in that back waist. Four, three, two. Now knees down in partial plank for everybody and bend the elbows alongside, but don't drop your head and push. Just two inches is fine. Inhale, don't sag your belly or your waist. You don't want any arching. You want a straight line. One more, inhale. Exhale, untuck and sit back, rest position, deep breath. Roll up, grab your head support, and we'll face me on your other side for sideline. Stack up in a straight line, bottom arm extended, head support between head and arm. Stack your legs and ankles. Make sure your pelvis is on its side in a neutral hip bone over hip bone. Kickstand that hand, top shoulder down, legs together actively pulling out away from you so they're not relaxed. All right, now lift the navel, okay? Make sure your head's in good alignment and then squeeze both legs up as a unit. Control it down. Exhale, lift and control down. Squeeze it up, lower with control. Squeeze it up and lower. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower, squeeze and stay. Bottom leg beats and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hold together, flex both feet. Point both feet, stay lifted, flex both feet. Point both feet, tight abdominals, flex both feet. Point and hold and slowly lower. Good job. Bring the legs 90. Top leg straight out, elongate through that side waist. Nice taut leg, not limp. Flex that top foot, side kick. Exhale, exhale. Reach point back, no pelvic movement. Exhale, exhale. Reach and stretch. Keep it right in line with your hip, not higher. And stretch. Exhale, exhale. Inhale, point back. Flex forwards for a double exhale, long inhale to reach back, exhale, exhale, reach and stretch, one more, exhale, exhale, reach and hold, take it straight out, pointed foot, right in line, and now tiny circle forward and one, two, nice taut leg, three, four, and five, reverse it, one, pelvic is, pelvis is nice and stable, three, Four, five, hold, flex the foot, pulse one, two, three, four, five, hold, bend the knee, inhale, push out, exhale, bend over the bottom leg, push through the heel to the wall opposite, like you're pushing through mud, but keep that neutral pelvis. Inhale, bend, exhale, push one more, inhale, bend. Exhale, push, point, bend the knee, lower down. Stretching out, roll on your stomach. If you're able to go onto your elbows, do so. If that bothers your back, go all the way down, cross the hands, forehead on the hands. We're going into single leg kick <clears throat> for this one. You wanna make sure that your elbows are under your shoulders. <clears throat> Legs together, parallel, extended feet. 
push into the floor with your forearm, with your hands clasped. Draw the shoulders away and lift your navel, but keep your pubic bone on the mat. Neck and head in line with that little upward arc of your spine. So look a little forward of your hands. Now, flex in the right for two beats. Exhale, exhale, point down, inhale. Alternate, exhale, exhale, point. Flex, pulse, point. Flex, pulse, point. Exhale, exhale, inhale. Exhale, exhale, inhale. Flex, pulse, point. One more, flex, pulse, point. Lower all the way down, cheek to one side and clasp your hands on your waist or slightly above it and drop the elbows. Legs together parallel. Lift the navel away from the mat. Double leg kick, flex in three beats. And one, two, three, stretch as you reach the arms and lift the chest looking diagonally down. So I'm in that long arc. Then repeat cheek to the other side. Flex the feet as you bend the elbows. One, two, three, and make sure your elbows don't go up to the ceiling when you bend them. They go out to the side. And drop the elbows. One, two, three, stretch, tighten the belly underneath. And one, two, three, stretch it. Two more. One, two, three, stretch it. One more. One, two, three, hold. Arms around for the swimming. Opposite arm and leg, and flutter, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, rest. Hands by ribs, tighten your belly, push up and back round, and sit back to rest position, deep breath. Inhale, expand the ribs, and exhale. One more. Roll up. Sit with your legs in front of you, legs together, lean back on your hands, either fingers towards you or if it feels better to the side. You're in a slanted neutral. If you need to, you can bend the knees for this one. This is where we're doing that little reverse of the front support and this is called back support. All right, so we press up to a straight line looking diagonally forward and up. Don't let the head go back. Feel your back body contracting, your front body lengthening. Then sit it down. Flex the feet, get over your sit bones, reach up, inhale, and over grab whatever you can. Lengthen flat back, inhale, round over, exhale. Lengthen, inhale, round over, exhale. Last one, lengthen, inhale, round it over. Roll up, shake out your legs. <laughs> All right. Let's come to our sitting pads and get your hand weights. Or whatever you're using as a substitute for hand weights. All right, we're organizing in our neutral seated. You can cross your legs and let your knees relax, but lift and lengthen your spine, tighten your abdominals, easy shoulders, wide collarbone across the front. Take your weights in hand. Remember, not more than three pounds if you're using weights. And you want to make sure your wrist does not flex or break in either direct, any direction. In line with the forearm, tuck the elbows at your waist, palms facing the ceiling, and hand weights in, and wrist in line with your elbows. Widen the collarbone, lift your side waist and your front belly and your back waist. Now, keeping your neutral seated position, press forward shoulder height offering and bring it in. Exhale, press forward and bring it in with control. Reaching, just to shoulder height, don't go higher. Reach and in, two more. Exhale, bring it in, last one, exhale. Now turn the palms toward each other. Take them across from your solar plexus and reach forward to a soft elbow like you're hugging a big egg. So it's an oval shape, you open diagonal side. And this is our hug a tree but it's more of an oval shape. Inhale, hug forward, but don't hunch those shoulders. Keep your neutral posture, lifting your back pant waist, abdominals braced in front, wide collarbone as well. Two more. Inhale, exhale, 
bring it in and down, take a breath. Exhale, tuck the elbows again, palms toward each other. Keep the elbows tucked, keep your length in your spine and open as you squeeze slightly between your back shoulder blades and then forward. Exhale, squeeze open and forward. So it's upper mid back, squeeze, rhomboids and open and squeeze. Two more, exhale, keep the length in the spine. One more, squeeze. Now bring the weights across from the temples of the forehead and press and bend. Exhale, press diagonally forward and up, back to the temples, up diagonal, but keep it narrow. Reach, but shoulders down, bend. Exhale, up, like a salute. Exhale, up. One more, and press, and bring it in and down. Take a breath. Circle the shoulders. Now lift tall, curl in, and elbows at 90-90. Open to a soft elbow, curl toward the cheekbones for bicep curls, but it's at shoulder height. Do not drop the elbows. Keep the length of your spine neutral throughout. Careful you don't lean back when you curl. Easy to let the back go back. Make sure you're staying right over sit bones. Four more. Exhale, three. Exhale, two. Exhale, one. And bring it in and down. Good job. Circle the shoulders. And now we come to a stand for chest expansion. Come to your Pilates V, weights hang to the outside of the thighs, and you're in good neutral standing. Press straight down and back, hold it a second, and alongside. Exhale, press. Inhale, alongside. Exhale, press. And down. Squeeze back. Keeping wide collarbone. Press, good neutral posture. And press. Squeezing inner legs up and together. Press, one more, and press, and alongside. Good. All right, now put your weights down and come back to your seated neutral. All right, let's take a side lateral bend. Up and out, feel that real stretch through the body. And lift, and up and out. Oh, feels so good. And lift and take your right arm across and gently press it towards you, but keep that shoulder down and stretch the shoulder. Inhale. Exhale. Other arm across. Shoulder down, though. Don't hunch it up. And press gently towards you. Feeling that stretch across the shoulder area. And take that arm up, tap yourself on the upper back to bend, grab the elbow and pull it toward you for the tricep stretch. In through the nose, expanding the ribs, exhale through the mouth, release. Other arm up vertical, bend, tap yourself on the upper back, grab the elbow, pull it towards you, nice deep breath. And interlace behind. Press straight down and lift slightly. Feel the stretch in the chest and shoulders again. And in front. Press forward as you curve the spine in opposition backward. Rounding. Rock onto sit bones, elongate the spine neutral. Press palms forward. Lengthen through the edges of the arms. Reach up. Inhale. Open fingertips to the side, exhale, tip the ear to the shoulder, both shoulders level and down, deep breath, and other side, oh, always one side's tighter, right, keeps us humble, <laughs> we're never symmetrical, <laughs> we try to be, that's what we're trying to do in Pilates, be as symmetrical as possible. And center. Deep breath, inhale. And press out, exhale. Deep breath, inhale. Now float those hands to the thighs. 
feel how you feel. Changes in, hopefully made some good positive changes in the body. If you'd like to continue doing some more stretching, uh, let's go ahead and lay down. If you need to stop at this point, you can, but we're gonna finish off with some lying down stretching. So grab whatever you would use for uh, in place of a TheraBand, and um, you can also use your head support for this. Um, here it is, there we go. And then lay on down onto your back. All right, let's cross the right ankle over the thigh, thread the needle stretch, grab behind, and you got that number four in your legs and you're reaching through the middle of the four and the outside to grab that back thigh and pull it towards you. Feeling that stretch in the hip and real deep breaths here. Also a good reason for breathing deeply and fully when you're doing this work is not only for the sake of focus and circulation and as we said coordinating the breath to the movement rhythm of the movement but also it, it helps the health of your lungs and so it keeps our lungs healthy when we breathe deeply and consciously so keep that in mind because we want to keep our respiratory system nice and healthy especially in these times we're in and switch. Other leg across, grab behind, pull it towards you. Deep breathing also helps relax the musculature and calms the mind. <laughs> so deep breathing is always a good thing to do. When I start feeling anxious, I try to pause do some deep inhales and exhales. One more breath. And release. Let's grab our band, hook it over the sole of one foot, choke up a bit, and pull the elbows to the mat, and find that stretch position with a neutral pelvis, no tuck. Feel the hamstring and the back leg all the way through the heel stretching. Again, Focusing our breath here as much as possible. Keeping the foot on the ceiling, small bend, inhale, press into the band, exhale. Bend it, inhale, press, exhale. Bend it, inhale, press and stay. Turn the foot inward and leg across the body for that outer leg stretch. And you can always take longer on these if you would like. Turn up to foot normal, take one more bend, and stretch and hold, and open to that little side diagonal. Be careful to control it so your pelvis stays on the mat. Lengthening the inner leg all the way through the heel. And return up for another breath here. And bring the other foot in. Replace. Breathing, focusing, and now keep the foot on the ceiling, little bend, not too much, and stretch into the band. Feel that back leg lengthening, and bend. So Pilates is also about lengthening, 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 and everything that we do, we're doing both strengthening and lengthening. So we always focus both. Stay straight, turn the foot inward, and leg a little bit across. And bring it back up, foot normal, one more little bend, and stretch, and then open to that little side diagonal. And return.
turn for one more breath. Release your tension, remove your band. Hug the right leg in close to the chest as you stretch the left out. Hold for a breath. Switch, hug the left, stretch the right. Deep breath. And hug both in. Rock a little. Roll to your side. One more breath, inhale. Thank you all very much. Have a great rest of your day.